Welcome back to the Lost Cause Ranch. It's Risco Disco Day. That's right, guys, the old five-speed D1 that we just picked up. Today, we're gonna find out everything wrong with it. Well, maybe not everything. We don't quite have time for that, but no, we're gonna go see what it takes to get this thing ready to run some trails in the woods here. It's a fair amount, and we're gonna try and do it for no money because it's just a parts one in the end. But we're gonna have fun first. So we're gonna start off at the shop here and see what's broken. Just a disclaimer on this guy though. Don't take anything we do as how it should be done. We know we're not fixing this one correctly. This just has to run through the woods a couple times. And we're trying to do this with zero dollars. Zip zero nada. Oh, you wanna know what's going on in the background down there? Let's talk about that first. So down below here, I'm just trying to lay out what I think we should have here at the ranch for a shop. So I just kind of staked her out, marked out the trees that we're gonna cut right away. And today I cut up some scrub trees in here and been doing some burning. The rest of these will split for firewood. What's laid out in pink here is a 36 by 48, which would be a decent size. The only thing running into on this guy that's gonna create some difficulty and expense is the slope on the hill. I would've liked to have been able to just do like a pole barn and do some concrete piers in there, but I think we're gonna have to do a foundation wall all the way around and dig this down in the back corner from there around will have to be walled up, so we'll probably end up having to stick build this guy, but we shall see. So it appears that we have junked some stuff. There's some bits. There's the flange. The nut is there. So, uh, Let's see what we're working with, I guess. So that's the axle situation on the brakes passenger side it's kind of not connected we only got one bolt in there and one pad missing a pad all right that's the driver side on the passenger side it appears that the brake line got caught on something and ripped off of the caliper so we will make up a new brake line for this side slam a pad on that side Ted is sorting what to do with the axle because that is chooched, as they say. So the nut is stuck on there. Ted's going to physically remove it with force. Um, it's gonna break the budget on this, so we'll have to get a new nut. Ah, uh, oh, there goes a bit. So you might be able to see there that nut is pretty junked. Um, what he did was drilled in there and then used a chisel so he could split it. And that spreads it so it can just slide off. Try to save the spin. It's a problem. 
process. Is it? When you add a, another shack. Something. This one axle installed. It's always nice having extra parts laying around. Uh, brake calipers mounted up, so we're good on this side. Over here, Ted's got the new line made up. The shock, as you can see, isn't attached. So we're gonna have to clean that up, weld that bracket back on. That sounded good. He went to bleed the brakes. And we created another leak. So on the passenger front, we have another line leaking. So we'll replace that one. Leak. So it's got this heavy duty tie rod, but it's, it's a little loose right there. So tie rod, tie rod. So Ted went ahead and made the executive decision that we're just going to delete the rear, rear shock. Rear, rear. So it's got four in the rear, we're going to go back to two, and it'll probably flex more. So the tool of choice on this one has been the air hammer. This thing's just full of hidden gems. There is our mud encrusted fuel tank strap, quite literally a ratchet strap. So here is all the damage on the axle. See the outer flange portion of it where it broke off. There's the end of the broken shaft itself. It mangled all the washers, both the nuts. The bearings are toast. And the spindle right there, kind of hard to focus, but that's supposed to be flat. While the axle was in there bouncing around, it just schmuckered it all. She's chooched, boys. She's chooched. Here was our one leftover pad, the two shocks we decided to remove. So the great thing about working on pretty much just discoveries, mind you, we got a Mercedes back there, but pretty much just discoveries is we acquire a lot of parts. So we had all of this laying around already. So that was a no money thing. We had to buy a couple brake lines. We reused the fittings, you know, budget, budget. So all in with brake fluid and whatnot, I think we got about 30 bucks into getting the old Risco Disco going. 
All right, so the Risco Disco is running. And now it's time for its maiden voyage. We're gonna drive it to the ranch. Wish me luck. But the nice thing is, in case it breaks down on the way and we have to defend ourselves, we can throw some 40 caliber bullets at someone. Well, so far we're doing better than those guys. Hopefully the brakes hold the rest of the way to the ranch. Put the center lock in. <laughs> so I pretty much know why the axle kept breaking. It's got the welded rear end, and if you're on pavement, it does a little hoppy, hoppy, scourge, scourge. So we took the ditch instead. We just had to engage the uh, center lock on the transfer case so we could get out of the ditch. That did fine. <laughs> intentionally knocked the mirror off. I was just trying to go up there. Does anyone know if the seven years bad luck for breaking a mirror runs concurrently or consecutive? Um, like if you already broke one before, does this just get added on top? Just asking for a friend. Well, that was stupid. But no, there's the old uh, Risco Disco. Next video, we will have to get Ted out here. We'll go take this deeper in there and have some actual fun with it. That was just a taste. This thing's gonna be pretty sweet for the money. Welded rear diff, 35 inch BFG mud terrain, center lock diff. It should go some places. And I wanna thank all of you. We just hit 5,000 subscribers. That means the shirt I don't have on right now. Land Rover's only shirt. We will be giving one of those away to one of the subscribers, one of you subscribers. And we will announce that on the next video. So stay tuned for that. That should be Thursday. Today's Monday. Yeah, that should be Thursday. We'll talk about the shop more in the future. Next video on this guy, we'll be bashing around in the woods, but it works. Budget, super budget. Gonna be fun until we tear it apart. That being said, guys, appreciate you guys watching. Catch you on the next one. We'll have to reaffix that. That was a bit of a whoopsie.